Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajita. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. Happy Saturday. So today I'm going to talk about the Weiss Photo Project. So I just got done today photographing a, an evening last night and then this morning shooting portraits of senior citizens at the Longmont Senior Center in Longmont, Colorado. And what a treat that was. I, I've been talking about how I want to go photograph more of these folks and I want to like document them. I want to create these incredible photographs that once they exist, their family will put in their homes and will live with those folks. And those photographs will keep them alive in their world. And so I had made the arrangements and the director had brought me in and had me scheduled for last night and today. There was a dance there last night. So a lot of people were coming in already dressed up. So she thought it would be a good night for it. And it was. And we got like 39 people yesterday and we got another 28 or 30 today so it was a really good turnout and each person only takes like two or three minutes but I always introduce myself and actually the director would introduce me and I would say hey how you doing and if they were dressed up I'd make a compliment about they're looking really spiffy or dapper or fancy or something and kind of just make them brighten up a little bit you know and they were already bright but just to make them have like a good feeling about this whole project and then I bring them over to my studio, which is set up there, and I tell them where to pose, I tell them how to stand, I direct their hands. I, I was doing a lot of poses where I wanted hands in the photos. So I had, the first day I was using a, a tall chair, and I had them put their elbows on the base of the, of the chair. It was facing backwards. They were standing in front of it, but not sitting. And the second day I actually put a, a little tabletop in front of them that was on a tripod I could adjust, and then they could you know, put their elbows wherever they needed to be, but I wanted to get hands in the photos. And I had so much fun. You know why I had fun? Because I had fun with them. At, at the end of the day, those folks, maybe 70 and 80 years old, or even 90, but they're 20 at heart. There's, there are couples who were married 60 years and they're still nuzzling each other and posing like they're just kids having fun. And I would make jokes with them. I would ask them if they were professional smilers. I would ask them if, if they like each other, if they were a couple. And I was just goof with them. And every time I got different reactions. Some people would like play with the, with the poses and keep changing them. Other people were a little bit more demure. But overall, I just thought it was such a fun experience. People like to have fun. People like to have fun in front of a camera and know they're being taken care of, you know, really well. In fact, I had three lights set up. They could sense that there was a lot of quality going to come in with the light into this camera. And I have a great setup with the three white lightning Paul C. Buff lights that I picked up at a, uh, that antique camera show down in Denver every twice a year. It's coming up May 5th, by the way, if you happen to be watching this right before May 5th, 2019. It's coming up in Denver at the Jeffco Fairgrounds. But it's, uh, I have three of those. Two of them have soft boxes on them. One's open with a, with a hard light for a kicker. And those three lights, it's just like, I'm on a uh, remote control for the, for the camera, so I'm not tethered to any wires. So I'm able to walk around. I have a little box. I have an Apple box that actually has segments in it. It has some shorter and some wider segments. I can actually stand a couple on one to make them so that their heights are a little bit closer. They love that. And I love that too. But anyway, so it was just sort of a, a treat. And I'll put a link to some of the photos. I may have to hold off until we're having a premiere of these photos on May 9th. They won't see them until May 9th. So I probably won't publish this until May 9th. So you're probably watching this after May 9th, which means you missed the camera show. But in any case, I want to show you some of them because they're just amazing. The people are beautiful. And there's such a great, I just have so, such a great time working with them and making them feel special and making them feel beautiful and telling them how wonderful their smile is. And that's a great treat. Like I said, I think once before recently, if I could have any work that I could do a lot, I would travel the country with this project and just bring these faces in photographs that didn't exist until yesterday and today. And I would make those for people all around the country and make it so that 
their faces would always be preserved. There was, there were people, one woman said, I haven't had a photograph made professionally since 1957. And several people said, yeah, we, people take pictures of us with the phone, but I don't think those will ever survive. A few people said, it'll be good if when you pass, you don't have a picture as for, when, you're, when you're age 40, but you were 90 and nobody gets to see you when you were 90 because there's no pictures of you. And it's so true. There's nothing wrong with the beauty of, of age and age has, you know, everything's beautiful. There's no such thing as, oh, you're only attractive at 20. And when you see the light in these folks' eyes and when you see the smiles, and I have, uh, because I was in, introducing the project to them, they would ask, you know, is there any way to get all the digitals? And I would say, no, there's only going to be one print made and it's going to be a print that I pick out of the 12 or 15 frames that I photographed. And I'm going to look for the one as an editor that has that little spark, that one little extra something. And that's the one that's going to get chosen and printed and put into this photo show we're going to have on May 9th. And they're going to see their photos for the first time and they can take those photos home. And if they want more prints, they can always order some. That's not required, certainly. That's not the purpose of why I'm doing this. I really want to make something that I would love it if their family wanted more pictures. So then they would actually have more pictures and more homes. But the idea is I said, I'm going to give you that print because that print will exist. A digital won't exist. If you're not printing your photographs, it's not a photograph. It's just sort of the possibility of a photograph. It's a slide in a slide tray, but you can't see it unless you put the projector up. It's a negative that didn't get printed. And it's like, well, it could be a picture someday, but nobody ever printed it. To me, that's what digital is. Yeah, you can open up grandma on a computer screen, but when do you? And how often? And, and how do you live with those people when they're in a folder somewhere? I can live with my mother on my desk. She's right there with me. It's in a picture frame. It's very inexpensive. It's very easy. It doesn't take a triple backup to make those pictures survive. It just takes no fire, but the fire would, would destroy the computer as well. I know, maybe there'd be a cloud, yeah, yeah. But the point is, everybody doesn't have a fire that destroys your home. And I love the fact that a print sits on your shelf, sits on your bureau, stays with you, and as you pass them, you see them and they're a part of your world. And they, these folks are like the most beautiful people, fun, warm, and very thankful and appreciative of having somebody wanting to photograph them and I'm glad to be that person. All right, that's today's photography talk. I'll put links to the photos below. If you have any questions or any comments, put them in the links, put them in the comments below. And if you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to bringing you more photography books. Here's to good light.